below. In part 1 of this series, we discussed aspect ratio as was described in the paper Nothing is Something by Floyd A. Sweet Ph.D. Consider energy, flowing straight and level down the proximity of a transmission line. The energy does not know the width of the channel through which it is passing. If the energy reaches a point where the dielectric changes, but not the geometry, some of it will continue on and some of it will reflect. If the energy reaches a change in the width of the transmission line some will reflect and some will continue as well. The energy current will not know whether, a, the dielectric is changing, or b, the geometry is changing. Energy current does not have directional inertia, so that, a, is equivalent to, b. Energy current does have an aspect ratio. If the aspect ratio is forced to change, some of the flowing energy will reflect in order to assure that its total aspect ratio remains constant. Crudely, the aspect ratio is similar to the ratio of E to H, or the same as the ratio of E to permeability. The square root of E over permeability. The aspect ratio of energy current is much like the aspect ratio of space. While the aspect ratio of space can change, its fundamental velocity, C equals 1 over the square root of permeability times E cannot really change. This parameter becomes merely our way of conceptualizing time delay when energy resides in a region of space. Cleverly designed power and input coils are what we think to be the key to the entire thing. Stephen Mark said a similar thing. Very very cheaply put together, there's no mass circuitry involved with any of this stuff, it's just the knowledge of the coils and how they interact with each other. We think there is sufficient evidence to say confidently that we now know how the power coils in the vacuum triode amplifier were configured and wired. This evidence alone points to a brand new world of new and simple possibilities to build amazing new devices for very little cost. With a few non-inductively coupled coils, we can use a small amount of input power to start a process and the energy of the quantum world then powers the device through the interaction that is called magnetism. Magnetism, or to use the term correctly, electromagnetism is a fair bit more complex than we first thought. We know, as Floyd Sweet points out, that E and H are in quadrature and are normal to the direction of the energy flow, basically, this means that with every line of magnetic flux, along with it, an electric field is at right angles to it at all times, for example the right hand rule. This electric field is attached to the permanent magnet and is there, directly, as a result of the initial magnetization process. Again Floyd Sweet pointed this out also, we quote, very low power is needed to modulate the quanta, which is in a coherent state under the influence of the residual effects of energy initially consumed in the so-called magnetization process. This energy is steady state and is actually orientated space quanta which is not a property of the magnet but is initiated by the initial magnetization force. And also, the magnets producing coherent quantizing of the incoherent quanta packets comprising the surrounding space field, providing a continuous stream of energy from an infinite source. There is more information that we would like to show, but it is unfortunately copyrighted and we cannot show it without risking our channel. However, we can reference it, from, Energy from the Vacuum, Part 15, Seeking Over Unity Chapters from Free Energy History with the late Walter Rosenthal, at, 24 minutes in. From, Energy from the Vacuum, Part 9, The Early Years Murray, Sweet and Anti-Gravity, Tom, Bearden, at, 30 odd minutes in. Janice Manning said, and we quote, On rare occasions, Sweet saw this effect, called self-oscillation occur in electric transformers and we also quote from Tom Bearden, Sweet was also a transformer designer and expert, and he remarked that he had also observed specialized self-oscillation in certain transformers. Please remember that a triode works the same way we have described the VTA. It is no wonder that Tom Bearden renamed the space quantum modulator to the vacuum triode amplifier. One power coil is always being gated by an inflow of electromagnetic energy at all times. We hope to have more information soon. Thank you for supporting our projects.